Welcome, this is Cool T Tech. Welcome to our tech unboxing, massive tech unboxing. We have a lot of things going on. We have headsets, keyboard, mice, and everything in between. We're doing a massive tech unboxing. Welcome to Cool T Tech. So we're gonna start with the keyboard, Ducky 1 2 Mini, all white with blue switches. Let's take a look at what it looks like inside. So we have a lot of different things going on. Let's open it up. We got a cover for the keyboard, so we're not using it. A dust cover. We have a baggie in the keyboard. We have all white switches. We even have the special Chinese New Year logo. Uh, it looks like two rabbits or two um, rats. We also have a blue switch. We have everything. It's blue switches, keys. If you guys want to hear it, it's normal. Let's check a look what we else have in the box. We have some flyers. We have a manual for how to work with the keyboard, the lights and everything else. Let's take a look further in. We have extra keys that so we have the escape key switched out to a blue key. Also extra, we have the wire that comes with it to connect the USB-C connection. And we also have the key, the regular space bar since we're using the uh, Chinese New Year one. And we also have the key puller with the doggy logo on it. And it's a small one, so it's nice and comfortable. And let's take a look at anything else. Nothing else in the box. Let's take a look. start with another one. We're just gonna put everything back behind us. Grab next. We have a glorious blue brush. Let's take a look at this product. We are getting into customizing our keyboards and everything else. We will be looping that Ducky 1 2 Mini all white keyboard with a blue switches it looks like the uh, brush doesn't want to come out so hold on one sec everybody let's go with the other end and just push it out so it's a yellow double zero brush lube brush to make it easier for you to lube it even has a little groove in it so your fingers can hold so it stays comfortable when you're lubing so many switches and everything else. Next product, let's go with a baggie. Let's take a look at what these are in the baggies. Looks like these are for a mouse, a gaming mouse, the feet. So it can slide better we are gaming, we are switching the feet to better products. These are bought from their M3, uh, 3M ones for a mouse. It's a G Logitech G602. The old ones are coming off of them. So we grab that. We have some USB-C six foot cable for phone chargers, for keyboards and everything else in between. Just extra cables and products just to have in round. You never hurts to have extra cables. Let's take a look at what it looks like inside. It looks like it's a blue covers with a purple looking one. It's pretty cool. It uh, has a coating, a clear, like a plastic coating over it. So it gives it a good shine to it. It looks like a good flexible material. So it won't damage easily. And it's a six footer. So that's a good distance for a keyboard to be on from your computer back of your computer to the keyboard just to have an extra cable we also have another one of those another six foot cable looks like a rainbow color six foot let's take a look at the inside of this guy we can find where it opens okay this one opens in the front words so it's pretty it's a little bit more Durable. It looks like it's a little bit less flexible, but it looks like it's a harder sleeve on it, so it makes it easier to not to damage. And the good metal uh, covers for the USB C cable and the USB 2.0 or 3.0 cable. It looks like it's 2.0. It's perfect for a keyboard. Let's go with the next box. Let's see what this is inside of. Oh, this is a Corsair RGB 
mini hub for your fans, for surf fans, and also for your RGB. It can hold up to six fans for the RGB section. That's cool for Corsair keyboards. Corsair fans, not keyboards. Sorry about that. Let's go with the next baggie. It looks like it's another USB C cable. I'm guessing. Looks like a three foot C cable. Let's take a look at this cable. It looks like this is the magnetized ones we ordered from Wish. It makes it a little bit easier. So if you want to charge your phone and stuff like that, and you want to keep not unplugging, plugging it in, just have the magnet connect itself. It's a gray cable. It's nice and flexible. It's easy not to get damaged. Let's go have a bigger package. Ooh, we have some headsets here from Walmart. We ordered some Philips H uh, HIFI stereo headsets. These are the H uh, HSP 95 series with uh, open backs. These are very good for gaming, I keep hearing. It's good for a open back headsets for with no mic so if you have a, a microphone it makes it a little bit easier to use these since they don't have mics but you also can get an attachment for like 30 35 bucks on amazon with attachment with a mic and a 3.5 jack to your computer let's put that over here let's open this up and see how they look inside can't seem to get anything open here we go. Ooh, they come with a bag in them. Looks like a, let's take a look at cable. It's a rubber cable with a 3.5 jack on one end and also it has a bigger jack, like a normal keyboard jack, sorry, no, uh, a guitar jack. And on the other end is 3.5 as well. So you can connect to your computer. It looks like it's at least a six foot or longer cable. And let's open up the bag and take a look at the headset. Headsets are nice and flexible, uh, rotates a little bit. They have the open back right and left side. It has metal sleeve and it has a number so you can tell which section you can hold on. And let's take a look, try them out. They're not bad, they feel light. They're not, they're open back. So we're gonna test them out, make a video a little bit later. Take a look. They're pretty light headsets. The foam inside is not that deep and you can hit your, it's a 50 millimeter drivers on them. We'll see what's next. But yeah, the Phillips are not bad. I've heard good things about the 95s series, 95,000 series. Oh, it looks like, take a look at this. We got a ring light here so we can make some better contact more light in our area. It's good for holding a phone as well to make it a little bit easier. But we also gonna put it on our setup. Here's a hold up for your phone and the rest of the tools with the ball bearing so they can move around a lot easier. Let's take out the ring light as well. It's not bad. Look at that. It's a good size for a small ring light. Connects to your computer with a USB. We have the buttons, the power, plus and minus and reset. So it can go three colors. We can go white, natural, or warm, so you can have whatever you like to do. And let's, and this is the little tripod that comes with it, so you can put it up, or you can hook it up with any other tripod because it does have the standard one fourth connection on it. What do you guys think of so far of all the products? It's a mixture of different things and everything else so let's go with them okay there's nothing in this bag looks like it came out it looks like these are also another pair of feet for a mice these are for cooler master feet it's the mm720 mouse they're a little bit thicker than what that comes with it so let's test these out it's a set and also it comes with wipes to, to clean them. So when you reset them, that's a cool product. 
All right, let's open this bag. What is this? This is from eBay. It's just a different mixture. Get that out of the way. Oh, look, it's a, it looks like a mouse mat. It has, it looks like a smaller one that we're using right now on our area, our countertop that we're using, doing this in the kitchen. Let's take a look. It's black mouse mat, rubberized, feels pretty good, with a red stitching on it. It's not a bad size. It's a little, it's lengthwise, it's the same as the mat here. Just width is a little bit shorter. Height is a little bit shorter. But it's not bad for a small area, a small desk, or if you're testing something out, if you have different mats. It feels like a speed mat. It's a rubberized on the bottom. Let's put this away as well. Alrighty, let's get another bag. Oh, we got some tools in here. We got another brush for lubing it's a double zero as well it has the grooves like the one from the coarse glorious version let's take a look at it glorious one was a yellow version yellow color this is a black one with a plastic finish to it and it has a two for lubing let's take a look at what else is in the bag we also have some lube 303203 lube we got that we also have another lube, just two different versions of the 302 and 3 uh, lubes for our keyboards. Just lube them up, just to make them the uh, tactile lube switches a little bit less noisy. Let's grab another package. Oh, it looks like we have more lube. This is grease. This is for lubing everything you need so it doesn't make a lot of noise. I don't know what to tell you. Tune up lube. It's from uh, eBay as well. It's good for the stands of uh, keyboard. All right, let's do this. Let's put this back there as well. Just a little cleanup, guys, girls, everybody. Oh, take a look. We got some RGB lights to set up in our back of our desk. It's TV strip up to 65 foot, so you can even put it on your TV, the back of your TV. It comes with the RGB, and it even comes with a seems to not open anything today. Comes with a remote. So you have different colors, different looks to it. It comes with a manual, how it's supposed to look like, and it rolls up with a USB connection and the warnings to make it easier for you to set up the RGB and everything else for your desk setup, your backing of monitors, or the back of TV, whatever you guys want to do and use for. Let's open up this box. Let's take a look what we got in here. Oh, we got a mouse right now. We got a Logitech G02, 03, or if you want to call it G01, G103 as well. There's two different names for it. If you have the American one, it's G203. If you have the European version or the Asian version, it's G103. Let's open up the mouse. Looks like we have the blue version of the mouse right now. It's 80,000 DPI, six programmable switches with RGB in it as well. Let's open this up and let's get the, it out. Ooh, oh, nice. It's a nice blue and teal color. You got the right and left button. You got the right and left click side buttons as well. Scroll wheel and the RGB, the, the sensor to make it the DPI sensor as well. It is a rubber cable. So you, it's not sleeve cable, it's normal rubber, but it's still a decent mouse, good weight to it. It has, you can flicker and move around with it pretty good. 
And you got manual in there as well to explain more about it. Let's put that there. Next, we got the HyperX Cloud 2 headset. For, you can use them for PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, or anything that has a 3.5 jack. But for the PlayStation 4 and the PC, you can use this USB 3. Point, uh, USB surround sound as well with these guys. Let's open this guy up. Let's take a look at what it comes with inside. What I'm seeing in the package. It's one of the top gaming headsets that everybody used for years. And also there's a wireless version of this as well. We have the wired version. So we got the manual and the information cover. Then we got the headsets. If you look, let's do it this way a little bit. You have a cover. It looks like you get some rubber versions, covers. Then you got the leather ones on it already. It has a metal housing on the side. It's flexible. It can go back and forth, but the head, the caps can move a decent amount. You can move it up and down pretty flexible. You have a leather top. Let's try them on. They feel pretty light. It's like a little bit of noise canceling headsets because you can't really hear what you're talking about. It also comes with the mic. The mic is detachable. So say if you have a mic yourself, you don't want to use it. It's, it's a good thing to have. It's red and black with the HyperX logo on the side as well. Let's see underneath it. Looks like we also get a baggie to carry the headset with. It's a nice baggie and you got the USB surround sound in there as well. So you got the buttons for the headset, you got the buttons for the mic, and you also have the, the middle button is for the surround sound to go with standard 2.1 sound to 7.1 surround sound to make it easier for you to hear in game. So you can switch it for if you want to hear more of the chat or you want to switch it to more of the gameplay. It depends on what you're trying to do. They're nice headsets, they're light, I had a lot of people I know use them. We'll make more videos about them later on after this. Let's put this over here. Clean up a little bit of time. Let's grab the next one. Take a look. This is a top grip tripod for your phone. So you can also have a mic holder or a light holder on it. Let's open up and see what comes in it. It's a small one, so it's, it's a little bit easier to move around with your phone. You guys, have anything you want to add, see how we can improve. It is just a box and a little manual showing you how to open it up, how to set up your phone. If you want to have a camera or something else on it, here it is. Let's grab it out. It is a little mini tripod. So it's not bad for something if you're doing it, but it also has a little hand grip, so it makes it easier for holding. This moves up pretty easily up and down, and you also have the mic or, or light holder, so you can have a mic with it as well. You do have a screw in the back to make it, so it, it is 360, so you can go any way you want. So a lot of them are not 360, some of them are, some of them are not, just to make it easier for you to have it set up. If you have any questions you'll have everything down below just message us and we'll tell you what we grabbed it this is from walmart it's around seven bucks it's not bad for starting out a new channel with we're using our cell phones as the camera for right now we have a glorious a glorious uh switch opener so let's take a look at what it looks like so if uh, we do have a couple of mechanical keyboards we do want to lose the switches make a difference we have uh, two ducky keyboards, you saw one of them right now that we got uh, earlier. And we also have a ducky one, two mini all white. We also have a Razer Black Widow Elite keyboard that is yellow switches that are removed. But say if you want to switch the switches on the ducky, we do need this tool. It looks like it is plastic to move. It's not a metal version, it's a plastic switch opener so you got the four switches and then some of time you might need the it depends on what style switch you have to open up let's open up the next box let's take a look at what we got here oh looks like we have some tools we have another switch puller this one is a metal 
holder so it makes it a little bit easier to pull this comes off so you can switch the holder for if you like one design but you want a different color for the puller so make it kind of whatever you like to do make it your own let's take a look what else is in here we got some information about the products we have the a sticker from the company that sent it out and we have another loops brush this is a single o not a double o single o so it's even thicker what else we got we have switch puller to make it easier to pull your switches or tweezers so to grab the spring and small things to make it easier for you to when you're looping the spring or to hold other little things we have the switch puller is here the design of the switch puller is a little bit different and well, the good part about it it has rubber so your hands don't hurt so when you're pulling that switch you it won't slip easily so you have a good grip to it and the last but not least this is the the top of the keyboard that holds the little plastic that connects to your keys so when you're looping it you have a way to hold it everything together we were looking into a different time but that was a good reasonable price for what we're looking for let's grab another package let's take a look at here what do we got here looks like we have another mouse looks like this might be a cool master mouse let's open it up We got the Cooler Master M711 Black, 60 grams weight, so it's not bad for an RGB mouse, 16K DP, 16K DPIs, and 20 millimeter sticks. Clicks, 20 million clicks, not sticks. Sorry about that. Let's open it up and take a look at what the mouse looks like inside. We can open this guy up. Uh, we're going the wrong direction. Here we go. That's perfect. Let's open it up. Go right here as well. And open it up. Let's take a look. Ooh, we got a nice flexible ca cable right now. It is sleeved. It's light. So it's good for light mouse. Good for mid-sized hands. Good clicks. You got the right and left clicks. You got this four wheel clicks. Left and right clicks. Back and forth buttons. You got a nice little slide so it feels light even the cable if you have a bungee holder bungee cable holder it's not a bad mouse good holes so you can hands your stay cool and when you're playing for a long time let's what else we have in the box that's the baggie and looks like it comes with just instructions and that's it something oh it comes with the replacement feet Say if you are using this a lot, you have backup feet, so you don't have to look online and try to find them. Here's the manual for it as well. Just the Cooler Master Standard Manual, which you get for each mouse. So it's a nice color. It looks like you can switch to different colors. It is an RGB, so you can have multiple different colors to it. It is a norm. It's mostly made for right-handed people, but it's flexible for both. But the left and right back and forth click is on the right-handed side. But it is not a D-shaped, it's a normal shape mouse. It's high performance grids and everything else. So it can work with you multiple ways if possible. Okay, next, we got another tripod. This is a little bigger one. This is, okay, it's already cut up. Let's open it up. Let's take a look. This can handle cameras, phones, any shape, size phone. It looks a little bit heavy. Let's see what we got. Nothing else, just instruction. And then you got the cover for, and you got a holder. So 
it keeps everything. Let's take a look at what's inside the baggie. Oh, it's a Bluetooth, so you don't have to manually stop or take pictures or something. So you can start it, stop it further away. And there's a little holder for it so you don't lose at the same time. Let's take a look at what is inside the bag itself. Let's open this up. It's kind of cool. It is flex flexible holder, so you can have it like this, or you can bend it further down the feet. You can go around a building, around anything you want. It is a ball joint, so it makes it easier for you to move it around 170 degrees. The cool part is it is the standard connection for a camera, but the other cool part about it is it also has a level, so make sure that you're leveled properly on it, so your video or pictures are leveled. But the other cool part, it can convert to a phone opener if it wants to open. Here we go. Figure this side, this thing out. Doesn't want to come up. Right. We will show that later. We'll make a more a depth uh, video about it. Figure out how everything works and everything else, but it is a little bit bigger. You can use it for a camera, a decent sized camera. It is sturdy, sturdy. Bull joint is pretty big, so it makes it a lot easier to work with. Let's grab another package. What do we got here? Well, take a look. We got another product of Golier, Model O Wireless Gaming Mouse. It's a 65 gram weight, matte finished. It looks like we got the white edition here. All the products, none has been sent from the sponsors or anything we have. We bought ourselves from eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Wish, and stores that we've gone back and forth. It is, we are a new channel, so we're working what we got. We're just trying to get more videos content out there for everybody to watch. Anything you want us to change or anything we can improve on, just mention it in the comment. We're slowly working on it. Quality of camera is we're using our cell phone, so the better, the more videos that we have up there, the more content being watched, the more we can invest into the channel back and forth. Let's take a look. We got the all white with black right and left side buttons. We got the all matte. It's nice grip. It is like a razor Viper Ultimate looking to it. But the cool part about it is it has holes, so it keeps your hand cool. Speed, you got four speed feet. You got the right, left, it sounds pretty good. Scroll wheel is good. Also, the DPI is on top. We can turn it on. We got RGB on the, the right side, the left side, the scroll wheel, and a little bit in between the holes because it's coming from the sides. You have the DPI light on the bottom. You can go as looks like it's set for one, two, three, four, five, uh, four DPIs right now. You have Glorious does have a software so you can go in. We also have the USB attachment to it with a converter. So USB, normal USB. This is a converter to make it easier for you so you don't lose your dongle to a USB C. That also USB-C is, this is also rechargeable. So you, you can take off the dongle and then recharge. It is also the cool part about this is it is a light cable made. So you can even game with it if you want to do wired gaming, not just wireless. So it's light with a bungee. We also got a sticker from Glorious. We got manual. And also another manual. So different things come with the glorious. Let's take a look. One more thing in there. Yep. This is all comes into the glorious gaming mouse. We have more information about it. Anything you guys want to know. We'll make another video of everything we've gone. This is how the package is. Just to make it easier for everybody. Let's take a look back the wire in the case. It's 
sleeved cables. So it is not just plastic, but sleeved. So it makes it, let's turn this back off. So the power button on and off is on the bottom. DPI light is on the bottom, but the switch is on top. You got the left and right button, scroll wheel. And so you got a six, five programmable switches on it. And let's look in the back of this. It's 69 grams with 71 hour battery life in it. It's 37.5 millimeters high on the back of it, 128 millimeters length in the, the whole mouse, and the front of it's 26 millimeters high. It's not a bad hand. It can be worked with finger grip, claw grip, or uh, back. So it depends on your hand size, but it looks like more of a medium to bigger hand. If you're smaller, it will be a little bit difficult. So it depends on what you like to use and how you like to use it with. We'll make more videos about it. So let's put this guy away here and we'll just take it on the back. So we are going through a decent amount of products. Let's go with another glorious product right here. This is a holder for headsets, it looks like. So you can put underneath your game, your desk, you have multiple headsets if you have no stand. It's a 3M tape on top with two, it's a rubberized, flexible rubber, not a harsh rubber. So even if you hit it with your leg or anything, you won't break it easily. So you can have two headsets hanging off your desk. So you have one you're using and two more as backups. And when you're using one as a backup, so you can switch from a different ones like the HyperX ones, or we have Razer Kraken ones, Torment Edition that we're using right now, so we can go back and forth. And then we also have the open back headset from Philips that we can go onto it as well. We also have another sticker from Glorious as well. So it's not bad, instruction sticker and everything else. That's cool. Let's go, let's clean up a little bit more. All right, let's go right here. We got a Walmart package. What do we got here? Sorry, an Amazon package right now. Take a look, this is our mic that we're gonna use for our phone. But the cool part about this, it's a $30 mic, but it has a lot of features. You can use it for your phone, you can use it for your DSL camera and other things, or your laptop or tablet, anything like that. The cool part about it is, it's a shoot mic. So it's a point and shoot kind of mic. It's Universal Audio, it's FM8, Universal Digital Microphone. So it can work with multiple products. It's a decent little mic that we can use on our phone. That's why we got this tripod because it has a connection for the mic as well. So you can connect your mic or your at the same time. You have your phone on there. Let's open this up. Let's find this side. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Ah, it's right over. Oh, it's a push. We're trying to. It's... What is going on here? Nothing wants to come out. Oh, here we go. Cut this right in here. Instructions that came out pretty easily, but nothing was supposed to come out. Okay, we're just gonna cut the box. The package includes one mic body, one wind stand, one deluxe wind shield, windshield, windshield, 3.5 TRRS smartphone audio cable, 3.5 TS TRS camera audio cable, two replacement shock mounts, one hex, and user manual as well. So that's what comes in the package for a $30 mic. It's not bad because you get both versions, the standard wind one and also the other version as well. Okay, this is just weird. Nothing wants to open up correctly. Okay, 
see it's open on both sides. We finally got it. Okay, this thing is just weird on top. Then we got a normal box. We have shock mounts. We got two of them. So just the part, then you got the stand so you can tighten it, loosen it to make sure that you can't move. The hex on is for the shock mounts and we are replacing it. Here's the X tool as well. You got the cable, you got the camera version, the camera is two black lines on both ends with a coil so it makes it easier to keep it secured more then on the phone end it is one side for the mic and then three point three connections on your head on your phone side so it converts those three to two for the camera you got the manual as well the instructions how everything works and it shows you everything that comes with it let's take a look at the mic we'll put everything back so we don't lose especially the tools got the company there it's fuel world is the company so before I forget to say that you got a nice leather fake leather kind of baggie with pulleys so you can have it carry it securely it's not just in a random bag or anything you got the fuzzy the outdoor pop filter sorry the outside pop filter so it wind doesn't get into it then you got the mic itself shock mount mic shock mic all black it's all metal it's connection in the right in the back so it's decently a little heavy but it's also metal so it's high quality then you got also the fill the mount of let's go back to the box windshield as well you got the normal windshield and you got the deluxe windshield comes with it so you have you can use this for indoor if you have less noise and everything else then you got this the outside one so you have a lot more noise so you don't get the extra noise in the video you just have you talking or somebody else talking whatever you're doing let's put this over here We got a few more things. We got a Corsair product. Welcome Corsair. We got a Commander Pro. So Corsair Commander Pro. Let's take a look at this. I can see it's not open anything today. Let's go with. Oh. Well, it looks like we didn't cut it correctly. We got it. We got it this time. Pretty good. So you got your Corsair Pro. You got your PS2 connection for your motherboard. You got your SATA connection. It looks like you can have two more PS2s connected to it. You got four connections for sensors. Then you can have up to six cameras here. And also two LED. Three, uh, six, sorry, six fan, not six cameras. <laughs> you don't want a cam camera connected here and also for two LEDs as well. Let's take a look what else comes in the box. Let's take open up this way. You got the instructions. You got more information about the Commander Pro as well. Then you have the connections. You got the four sensor connections so you can put one one near your motherboard, one near whatever area that you're worried about heat wise. You got those connections right there. You got three Looks like a three pin, two, uh, two, uh, two sets of four three pin fan connections as well. Then you also have your uh, connections for extra length for your fans as well to make it easier on yourself. It also IQ software for the RGB settings and the Commander Pro Cam. Uh, fans to make it easier so that what Commander Pro does it makes it for each fan that you can control all the information so the speed of each fan so say you have one near your GPU you want more airflow going to the GPU let's say you have one in the back that you really don't need that much exhaust going through so you can even it out you can have one going 
50% and have one going 25, it depends on what area you are. And it makes it a lot easier to control all your fans with the Commander Pro than with the standard Commander, with the standard fan controller. Standard fan controller, all one speed. You can't change them back and forth. Here we got a Razer keycaps. These are the green Razers. Double shock PDT. PBT keycap upgrade set. So this is a full-on keyboard set upgraded. This is double shot. Let's take a look what they look like inside. We have three sections. We got for the bigger pieces, you got the metal and everything and the plastics to switch them out. You got all three versions. You have a keycap puller as well. So all the keys. You got four actually, not three. You got at least two versions of your keyboard, your space bar, you got your entry key, caps lock, and everything else, and letters and numbers. So you can use this for a 60% keyboard, you can use this for a 65% keyboard. It looks like you have two different versions of the space bar, so it makes it a little bit easier. You also can use this for a TKL as well. So you don't have to have the number pad to have these set up. These are the razor green switches. We are going back and forth a lot, but here it's a small area. I'm just trying to get everything completed. Let's take a look. We have another Hachi HTM Classic Edition G Wolf mouse. This is a used mouse from eBay. You can't find these new no more, so we picked it up. It looks like you got a a box packaging first, then when that comes off, you got a metal package as well. Looks like it wasn't sealed right. On top, you have the extra contact. Let's take a look at what we got here. You got extra feet and side grips as well, so you got a multiple feet for your. So when you use it so much, more grips. And design of it, the Tachi, the logo, and everything else. How everything you open it up if you want to switch the, the right and left clicks because you have a replacement left and right clicks. So if something happens to the clicks, you can replace them. And that's all we got in here. And then you got the instructions in here as well. Option okay, more feet. You got more replacement feet as well. It depends on what style you want to do. And then the instructions as well. The mini instructions showing you all the buttons and everything else. This is a size 124 millimeter by 64 by 37.5 millimeter. It is a light mouse. It's weight 60 grams plus 2 grams with the wire as well. You got the four feet on the sides, four small feet, then you have extra feet right here right over here these are a little bit thicker than the feet you have in there so you can go with the m3 so you get a set of double double set of replacements so you have at least three sets of feet one on the mouse and then two more we got the red and black one so you got the black in the bottom with also the wire as well and the red so the scroll wheel is black you got the left and right clicks of red with holes that so makes it lighter and you can flicker you can do anything you want. It feels pretty light. Uh, helps with the bunch. mouse bungee as well. And you got the mouse click. Nice rubber, so it's not too noisy, but also good. The right and left click, you can hear it. So it's pretty cool because it depends on which game you want. If you want a light mouse, a heavier mouse, it is pretty cool to have a few lighter mouses. G Wolf is one of the versions they make pretty light mice. It comes with a pretty a lot of things coming with it, so it's kind of cool. Especially a lot of companies. Also, let's look underneath. I almost forgot because this comes with an extra replacement cable. It comes with a replacement wire in a baggie. The guy, the G Wolf, comes with a replacement. So say this breaks, you have a backup one, so you don't have to go online and everything. And you also have a little brush to clean the mouse. And also, if you want to use it for your keyboard, but since you have the honeycombs in it, 
it, it, dust will get in a little bit easier, so the brush will help you a lot. Keep it clean and organized for yourself. And you have the side grips, so if you are, your hands is, you sweat a lot and you're slippery, the side grips will help you keep the mouse holding and not lose what you're doing, and, uh, lose time in, in the gameplay. So let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, we got another Razer product right here. We got a mouse bunchy from Razer. Let's take a look. We keep mentioning mouse bunchies. We got a black one right here. So this is perfect for your wired gaming mouse. Even the wireless ones, if you want to, if it's a rechargeable mouse, wireless ones you can use as a wired gaming mouse if you want to try something new. See how the difference from their wireless receiver to their wired version. If anything changes. Let's take a look. It looks so you got the normal instruction what Razer comes with in the design, and also you got the stickers, the two stickers that are standard, not the RGB version of the but the standard Razer stickers. You got the bungee right here. Let's take a look here. You got that right there, and it comes out this way. Here you go opens up this way and you got the mouse bungee. Let's grab one more of my Let's go with the horse core master MM711 -M with a bungee and connected to the binding. This wants to come out on the bungee. So say you have a decent amount of area, you left enough room for your your computer. So it's a thicker cable is good for this bungee. Thinner ones do run up, and you got another holder here, another holder here. So you got multiple holders for this, so you have more room. So now you can have I didn't leave enough room, but the, what it, the meaning of the bungee is it helps you hold. Your mouse up so when you're playing you don't have all the coil uh, wire hitting everywhere and not letting it roll correctly so it makes it a lot easier to play with in gameplay when you're trying to flicker or snipe or do a quick kill or anything like that let's put this away over here all right we got pretty much more than half you're done let's grab here what i've got in here oh take a look we have a razor mouse this is the that other razor white edition you don't normally death otters are usually are black normally there's a special edition versions of like white colors usually they're not common for the older style mice but now they're making it so you got all types of colors makes it kind of cool to have a different version of a mouse so if you have all white keyboard and white setup and everything like a white case or stuff it's kind of cool to have the mouse as well matching your keyboard you got your mouse you got the instructions here it looks like and you got your sticker it's your standard nice this is a wired mouse not bad it's a little heavier in mouse but it is a it's good because it has a good matte finish right and left click is a good size you got some grips on the side right and left click is good back and forth is good scroll wheel is not a lot of noise but it's pretty cool you got good sliders on it and also let's take a look at the back it's a true 6400 dpi mice and it's also a d-shaped mouse so it's a helps you not hurt your hand as well it's a little higher so it's bigger handed but it's it makes it a lot easier to play with if you're standing we're playing a lot and also it's a little slidey so you just gotta get used to that as well Let's 
let's see what else we got here. We got, let's go with, oh look, let's go with Glorious again. We got a Mount Spongy from Glorious as well. So we had the black one from Razor. We also have the white one now from Glorious. So we did have a decent amount of tech to open up here. Let's take a look at Glorious version of their mouse bungee. What is the difference? It is heavy, but that's what you want is a heavy bungee. Because if you have a light one, that means the mouse will move with the weight if you pull it harder. You got your sticker, you got the information from Glorious, different languages, and then you got your bungee. It is a little shorter here, the weight to it. Well, the cool part about this one is it pulls up so it kind of looks so it's easier to travel with it goes into it so you can't damage it the weight is decently weight to it and there's also rubber feet so when you're in a solid area it won't slide and you pull it up and you set up a mouse for it and then you have your boundary and you go so when you're flickering and stuff like that so it doesn't take away You've got the movement as well to make it a little bit easier. So you've got the glorious version of the mouse bungee in all white. So we got the razor mouse in white, but we got the bungee holders in white from Glorious. So you got a mixture of it to make it have a mixture of equipment in your setup. Let's grab another package right here. Let's take a look. These are from Wish. These are, I think, USB cables, but let's see what we have, what version of cables we have here. Let's open this up. They're taped pretty good. Here we go. We got a three-in-one blue cable. So you got uh, one end is normal USB, the other end is a, a, a iPhone charger and micro USB, and also a USB-C. So you got two of the blue ones. What else we got here? Okay, we got two black ones. That's cool. Same brand, same connection, just in black. So we got, so it's good for you if you have multiple things you want to charge at the same time. Let's see what the last color is. You got, ooh, silver ones. Not gray, but like a silverish gray. Two of those as well. So you got six set of cables here. They're not bad cables. Let's open up the blue ones. So we have uh, that in our hand. We can get it to open. We got the blue. It is nice. It is a three foot, closer to a foot, foot cable. But that's what you want with these guys. You don't want them too long. Because the longer the cable is, the longer the time it'll charge. So it evens it out. It's a flexible cable. It's doesn't it's braided cable, but it's flexible, not a harsh braided cable. So it makes it a little bit easier to work with. Let's take a look at the other stuff. What do we got here? We got a little bit more. Stop it. There. We got a mouse mat here. Let's take a look. We are seeing a little bit because we did open up the packages threw out of town and just want to make sure nothing was damaged so we can return it. Let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, it's a big one, look. Oh, damn, it's a lot bigger than what we have here. What I see here is Razor version. We'll take a look. This is the Razor logo onto it. It's a nice big mat. We do want to stretch it out because it was folded in the game. It's a rubber with, it looks like black Stitching on the side of it, we are making, we'll make videos of all this. Let's grab the Glorious Mouse and see how it feels. It slides pretty good for what it is. It's not a speed one, it's more of a normal matte finish kind of thing. So it feels, but this is, looks like a Razor old design. We got this from eBay for another backup mat. So we have four total mats right now. We also do have a HyperX extra large mat. This is, looks like it's similar to the size. Maybe height might be as big, but wide it looks like the same. Let's put this over here. I'm not use that right now. We got a couple more packages left. 
We didn't go with a small to big. We just went we'll grab by hand. Would look good. Oh, take a look here. This is a few. I think it's called F I I O. H D R O E S audio. So this boosts your audio. USB back and headset ampere ampere key key uh, key e. So this will help us make. So when we're playing games or listening to music or listening, watching a movie or anything like that, it will help us get the best quality sound we can get out of the headsets. I don't know if any of the headsets we have need this, but later on when we get 250 ohm headsets or anything that higher than a 40 ohm section, this will help us. Here's the instructions, the information about it. Let's get the thing. It is, it's the KE version. So it's a USB connection, nothing else in the package. Let's open up the other box. It is a tiny little guy. That's the cool part about it. You'd think it would be bigger, but it's actually a little guy. You got, it's metal made. You got the switch up and down. You got the normal 3.5 jack, and then you got BA Bell. So a smaller version of a 2. Point, like maybe a 2.0 or something like that. Then you got bass, so you got standard or boosted bass. Then game one or game two. The back you got the normal USB C line out. You got USB audio 1.0 or 2.0, coaxial out, and then OPI OPT out as well. So the new digital one, light. So it depends on what you're connecting. So you can have multiple connection. And this also can connect to other things with the line out as well. It is a little guy that will help you boost your sound from this little guy to a headset so you can even hear footsteps or chat and everything else in between. The main connection is a USB-C to a standard USB and this is the cable right here. You've got the little rubber feet so you put them underneath so it doesn't slide on you to make it so when you're playing and by accident you pull your headset this doesn't come with it and hit you in the head. You know what I mean? Then you also have the USB cable. USB. Actually, it's weird because this is a USB C connection, but it's a micro USB cable they send us with. The good part is we have extra USB C's that you noticed earlier to have it to work with. So let's get this back in here and switch to another package. But the cool part about the few is, oh shoot, that doesn't, no. It will help us hear the footsteps a lot better since we're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and also the new Call of Duty Vanguard. And we're going to try more Warzone as well. Plunder and also normal Warzone. Boil Royale as well. Let's take a look here. What do we got next? Ooh, look. The the feet that we found earlier, the MM720 Cooler, Cooler Master, a white edition as well. We got this. This is the cool part about this. This is a lightweight RGB mouse. It's 49 grams light, 16K DPI, 70 millimeter, 7, 70 millimeter, 70 million clicks, and a uh, IP58 glossy finish as well so it's white glossy finish it's a bungee mouse as well classical design this is designed from an old style mouse i'm not sure what kind i know it's another version of their glorious mouse and they remade it to a white version so another oh take a look perfect we actually opened one package pretty quickly we got the bungee a very light bungee white cable with white oh this is light this is nice this will be cool because you got if you're a mid-size to small hand you got your grip on the side you have a divot in there you got the right left left and right click you got the right and left click of mouse you got the scroll wheel it's in black but the other cool part about this is your third finger in you have a holder in there and then you got your pinky area so you don't have two fingers trying to put on the side so one hits on the floor so you got more of a grip to it it is a little bit smaller but you can go further down you have a good click the bungee is nice and white it's light as well so 
it can flicker and it is a light mouse. So when you're trying to get used to a quick light mouse, this is one of the best light mouse. It's a 49 gram light mouse, all white. And let's take a look. We also have the instruction, MM720 instructions. And it should also, if I'm correct, come with extra feet, except, it was, no, never mind. It doesn't come with extra feet, but that's why we got the other guys as well. Let's see, let's double check that. No, oh, we are correct. It does come with extra feet. So we got two sets of extra feet. It never hurts to have the backup set. It comes with, you got the top, the big guy, you got the bottom, the little guy, the medium size, and then you got the actual little guy around the sensor as well. Well, if you guys want to know anything more about any of this, just write in the comments. We'll make more videos about them. We are slowly getting more videos out there of tech reviews and tech information videos. All right, we've got a couple more left. Let's take a look. Let's just clean up a little bit. Right, look, we almost dropped something that we still need. Okay, that was already opened earlier. Actually, that's another package. But this is a 3.5, 2.5 hard drive housing. But the cool part about it is an M2 drive can go in here. So say if you have extra M2s and you want to use them for quick storage, but you don't want to deal with taking a laptop apart and putting it in and using it, a laptop to transfer your data, you can get one of these little mini seven to ten dollar plastic to metal from eBay, it's a housing that converts an M2 drive, sorry, two seconds, with extra screws, an M2 drive into a SATA drive. So you have your connections in here, and you can connect that to a trunk for it. Then go with all the versions of the size of the M2, you can move the screw back and forth and you can have this as an external housing. Then you, if you have an external housing for SD drives or anything like that, it makes it quicker to transfer data away, especially if you have extra M2 drives, SSD M2s, not M2 M2, the older versions of the M2, to transfer data from one computer to another, or your videos, to edited videos a little bit faster. So this is the mouse bunch actually for the G602 that we said about earlier. That was actually another mouse. I'm not sure what the feet were for that mouse. We've got to figure that out. We did order a couple sets, but this is the M2, sorry, G502 mouse. It's nice and rubbery, so it makes it easy. And then you got the alcohol strips as well. Looks like we lost the baggy, the shipping bag that came with it. All right, let's take a look. We got the yellow bag. Oh, we got more cables. Looks like this is a pack of four came. This is from Wish. Sorry, technically not Wish, but Geek version of Wish. We have, we'll open one of them. We have, it's a three point, um, it's a standard USB to micro USB three foot cables. These are good for your headset charging. If you have anything that still has, uses a micro USB to charge anything like that. You get a black one, you get a red one, you get a blue one, and a pink one. So say if you have your wife wants a charger, you have, those are different sizes. It's coming in with three foot and six foot cables as well. So you have two three foot, two six foot, so you can go back and forth so you, if you need distance or not distance. Let's open up, let's go with this package right here and we'll look. Those two gray ones last. Oh, it looks like more cable. Let's take a look. Looks like the rest are all cable from Geek Cables. This is another magnet one. It looks like this is a six footer. You have the mouse, the six footer, yes. You have the magnet and the USB, and then you have the extra tips. You got a micro USB tip. You have a USB C tip. And you also have a, another micro. So you got two micro USB and then one USB C tip. So whatever you want. So you have two devices, micro USB. You have one device with the USB-C. Let's put these up for the camera person. So you can, don't have to take, disconnect everything. You just use the wire back and forth. 
but that's cool about it is it makes it a lot easier to charge your product, your devices, your mice, your headsets, and everything else. So once you're using the knife, let's take a look here. What do I have here? What I'm thinking is this is the rest of the wish, the deep ones. Oh, there's a lot of cables in here. So we have a decent amount of mixture. We have USB-C cable, you have micro USB. We really don't use iPhone cables right now because we don't have any products that we need from. We do have mostly Android phones, iPads, uh, tablets, I mean. So we got a USB-C three foot red cable here. So it looks like a, it's good for your phone, your headsets and everything else in between. So let's go with the next one. That's one right there. So we have a green right side with the right side micro USB. So say if you want that gets annoying straight across. You got the right side. You got the standard regular USB C. This is micro USB. Well, it looks like blue, so 3.0 speeds. Let's open up this guy. We just want to make sure we're opening in the right section. We don't damage the product inside. We don't want to deal with the return because we trying to open it up and we damage it by just opening it. Let's take a look. Oh, we got more USB. You got more USBs, a micro USB and an iPhone connection here for the magnet USBs from earlier. So extra connections. Let's see any other ones. Nope, that's it. And then you got the information from the company that sent it. So let's keep everything together with that. Let's go with the next one. Let's go right here. We can cut right there. Oh, we still damaged the bag, so this will work. We got another USB-C green one this time. It looks like a rubber version. Three foot. So you just stand a USB 2.0 with you to a USB-C. That's cool. This one is a pretty heavy one, so let's see. This stick only cut there oh we got another cable let's take a look what we got oh this is cool this is you got from earlier we got a two more red ones the standard regular two three prongs so you got the USB-C the micro USB and also iPhone connection two more of the three and one four foot cables let's look at the next one See. Ooh, we get another cable. We got a purple one, USB-C. It looks like it might be in between a six footer to uh three to six footer, like a four and a half foot. So it's a little bit bigger than a three footer, but not as big as a six footer. So it's in like a five to a four and a half foot purple USB to regular so USB 3.0 to a uh, USB-C cable connection. So let's go with the next one. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, good, we didn't done it. We got another cable, USB-C to standard USB. They're purple in connections. I think that might be 4.0 speeds. It's a higher, it's like a 20 amp or 15 amp to a USB-C cable in green. Uh, this is a three footer. This is what I mean. It's like a little bit bigger. Actually, this is a three footer. Actually, they might be all three footers. Let's take a look at the next one here. So this is all from Geek. This is a mixture of cable we got from Geek just to restock our shelves. Ooh, we got more a USB magnet USBs. So these are five pack of USB C cables. Then we also got a five pack of USB micro USBs. So we got both sides. It's a circle connection, so we can use multiple connection, multiple devices at once, and have it jump back and forth. Well, let's see. This is a heavier one, so let's go with corner again. Okay, we got gold this time. Two more of the 3.3 and one, so USB to three ports of gold version. So we had black, silver, blue, red, and gold. So we have all five colors that we wanted. And that keeps us stocked for a while. It is a little, it looks like it's a little bit a lot, but it keeps you informed so you don't have to order as much electronics and they don't get damaged easily, especially if they're like this design, you got the rubber one next. You got a USB-C purple one. Again, this is a three-footer. It's nice. 
it's rubbery, but it's a good rubber. It's flexible. Same with the red ones. It's hard of uh, power. It's sleeved. It's a sleeve cable. I can't seem to remember the name, but it makes it easier for the three in ones are sleeved. Those are more for staying in one place or something. Then you get the these guys, the small ones for travel, so in your pocket or in your car or anything like that. It looks like we got another red one. So, uh, red USB C cable, 3.0 feet, 3 foot cable, not a 3.0. Right, let's take a look here. Oh, we got a, a magnet 3 foot cable, the micro USB on the end. Let's take a look. See, yep, magnetized, so you have extra cables, extra connections for it. That's nice to make it easier. Anything else in the bag? Nothing in the bag. Okay, we got two more here. Let's open up the one that feels like it's empty. I don't know if we open that one up or if we have to send it, to send it an empty package. Literally, oh, it's one USB C cable connection, rounded one. That whole baggie for one little thing. That's really weird. Well, you guys can use the smaller bag. I waste so much. Let's take a look. Alrighty. So the packaging doesn't make sense. So many little bags. Could have seen. Oh, we got another USB C. This is a 4.0 USB C to regular USB cable. Another one of those. We keep those together. And last but not least, let's put these guys here as well. From earlier the micro usbs we should have one more bag okay this one goes here as well oh that's from earlier that's a different let's keep all the wires together we don't want to get them confused and these guys as well so that's cool we have all the wiring and everything and let's take a look at the last bag let's rip that one okay never mind it doesn't want to open up cut it okay, let's cut it okay Let's take a look, what is that here? Ah, oh, more USB, let's see, any more in here? No, okay, let's go there. We got two more cables here, let's take a look. This is all from Geek. The ship was from overseas, I think from China or anything? So we're not sure, let's take a look here. We got another cable here. This is a USB, let's take a look. We can't really see the top of it. Yeah, let's open it up. Normal USB to micro USB. It looks like a three foot cable as well. High quality cable, it says on the packaging. You can use it for different things, charging connection and everything. And one last but not least, last baggie from Geek from charging cables. Let's see, what do we got here? USB C or micro USB? Oh, okay, that's weird. It has a plastic rubber. Oh, Okay, it's a magnetized one again. I think that is just help you keep it straight so it doesn't get damaged easily. Let's take a look at the plastic piece. I don't know what it says. It's in a different language that we can't read. Okay, here we go. So this is what looks like for this part. is a rubber, so when you holds it up oh actually looks like this is a rubber that you can hold the extra connections for whatever you're connecting to the your phone so the USB-C the micro USB or the iPhone so if you have all three connections thank you for joining us on tech massive tech unboxing anything you guys want to know about this is a cool uh, cool T tech just comment on the video and we'll add the information where we got it links and everything else this Thank you for uh, so much. Have a good evening. This is Cool T Tech saying good night. Bye.